and I had called Derek and told him that I didn't know where Murphy was. He is not here. He's gone. Okay, Bodie just got up, hit in a jugular with the ball. It looks like he chipped his tooth. I hit you hard in the face, bud. Hello, welcome to the vlog you guys. So, so this morning I've just been working super busy trying to get some stuff done, answering emails, and I had called Derek and told him that I didn't know where Murphy was. And he's like, oh, he's probably just out on the front porch. I was like, well, I didn't see him there when I looked. So I just kind of thought, oh, I'm, he's out there, whatever. But he is not here. He's gone. I can't find him. I've been out looking for him. I've been crying about it. So Derek's coming home from work and we're gonna go try to look for Murphy. Like he's never really left our yard. If he has, he's gone to like the neighbor's house next door. So I have no idea where he would be. I don't think he's really smart about like cars and roads. I don't know. I hope we find him fast. Okay, so I've been outside looking for him. You guys are gonna die. And I heard like a thumping sound. Look it, you can't, he is in the car. He's this. Murphy! Oh my gosh. I have no idea how long he's been in there, how he how he got in the car. Murphy, we missed you! We missed you! Oh! I feel so much better. I seriously was like panicking, like so upset. I've been looking for him for a couple hours so just barely I came out and I was looking around hollering for him and I heard like a thumping sound and I was like that's weird I walked over by the freezer over there and then I could still hear it and then I looked in the window of the car and sure enough the pup was right there <sighs> that's a really big relief because I was really worried about him so He's here, all is well. Buddy has another soccer game tonight. Wait, did you get your mask? Do you have it? Okay, I forgot mine, it's in the truck. Uh, you run down there, go get warmed up, and I'll be right back. Take your water, yep, good. Okay, I'll be right back. Go crush it. Bodie just got hit in the jugular with the ball. It looks like he chipped his tooth. He's holding a piece of it. It's small. It's small. You okay? Here, let's show it to him. You see it? He chipped a small piece. Yeah, he says some of it he spit out. That hits you hard in the face, bud. Let me see your tooth. It's got grass in your tooth. That's for sure. Dude, that was, you're tough, though. Way to take that hit. It'll be okay. It'll be all right. All right, on with the dancing show. Brielle has solo practice today. She's gonna learn more of her solo. She actually has already been at dance for three hours at her regular studio. Now she's coming to learn her solo. What a dancing queen. Oh boy, that was a rough game. Look, Buddy's running, he forgot his mask, he had to run all the way back <laughs> to get it. Hurry up, boy, what's taking you so long? Let's go. What do you think, bud? How was your game? Yeah? You played well, but that was a tough team, huh? Did you try your hardest? No. Did you have fun, no? Should we go home? Go see your brother and sisters? Brielle's dancing tonight. I'm not exactly sure what that's all about, but we'll go home and find out how everybody else is, how everybody else is doing there. All right, everybody's home. Uh, everybody's asleep, but me and the pups. It's just flicker. Today was such a crazy day. Um, I mean, I, I had to work and then I had to race home, take Bodie down to soccer and then back, which that wasn't that big of a deal, but uh, Bree was, <laughs> Bree was telling me that. I don't know. She was running back and forth between dance things and apparently Murphy 
got like left or something in the Suburban. I wonder if he hopped in there because he can get in and out of the cars now when the kids left the door open or something and then they just shut it because we didn't, we didn't take him anywhere today. So that was funny because I was at work and she was texting me saying she can't find Murphy. And then she says, oh, I found him. He was in the Suburban. Anyway, that's funny. I think uh, they're all exhausted though because like I said, everybody's asleep, which means it's time for me to go to bed. I'm letting the dogs go to the bathroom and then taking them back in. Murphy's been kind of, he's had a bad stomach the last few nights. He's, he's pooped inside the house a few times. So we're putting, we're kind of, we're having him sleep in his crate. Um, so he can't just walk downstairs and, and go to the bathroom down there. So that way he'll whine and wake me up to take him outside to go to the bathroom. But hopefully he's starting to feel a little bit better. But letting them go to the bathroom, do their thing, and then taking them into their little beds in the laundry room. They're fed, ready to go. That's the end of today. That's our Friday. Tomorrow. What do we have tomorrow? The girls have a soccer game tomorrow. Surprise, surprise, another soccer game. And uh, I don't know what else, just come back to see. It'll be fun, no matter what, hopefully. It's always a party. It's always an adventure. Maybe not a party, but at least an adventure. We're happy to have you guys along on this adventure. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night.